President Biden will deliver a stark warning to the unvaccinated later this afternoon, as what else is new, as he unveils new actions to battle the COVID surge in this new variant. Let's bring in former CDC director, current senior medical advisor at AMLLC, Dr. Robert Redfield. Dr. Redfield, always great to see you. If you were writing the script for the president today, what are the, some of the bullet points that you would like to get across to the American people? Thanks, Brian. Thanks for having me here. First and foremost, I think the critical thing is to remind the American people that vaccines do work. Uh, the challenge with the vaccine is you got to maintain them. So obviously maintaining your vaccination state with additional injections is fundamental. Second thing, I think we've really got to finally embrace the tool of what I call knowledge of infection. And what that means is we need to have expanded testing. Uh, we need to be able to let people understand if they're the silent epidemic so they can pull themselves out of the transmission pool. Rather than treat everybody as if they may be infected, why don't we start focusing on the people that are infected by expanded testing, so substantial increase in testing, which I know the president's going to talk about, but I think really our nation probably needs over a billion tests a month just from a public health point of view, so we still have a long way to go. Finally, I hope that there'll be a uh, a, a real aggressive push on a private-public partnership to accelerate antiviral uh, development, both to retool the monoclonal antibodies that we've lost with the uh, Omicron variant, but also to get the private sector to build upon what we've seen with Merck and Pfizer, bringing antivirals to bear. Let's get more antivirals into the system. Right. And lastly, I think it's really important that we move to sort of a culture of personal responsibility. I'm not a big advocate for mandates. I don't think mandates help. It's terrible. I think when you tell people they have to do something that they may be reluctant to do, then they become more reluctant. So I think we need a culture of, you know, personal responsibility for us to understand what mitigation steps we need to use for ourselves in the different environments we're in. So those are my four major points, and I hope the president hits all of them. You also want to expedite the Pfizer antiviral, uh, which could be something we all take. Up, oh, I was in contact. Oh, I'm starting to feel symptoms. Let me take this. Some, there's some reason there's no urgency to get this to market. Yeah, Brian, I think this is really important. I don't know where the pressure points are. Um, I know I had an opportunity to be the CDC director during the beginning of this pandemic. I will tell you there was a great sense of urgency. Uh, I was a part of the Operation Warp Speed Board to bring vaccines to the American public. There was a great sense of urgency. Um, I don't see the same urgency in bringing the diagnostic test to the American public that we need. As I mentioned, we probably need over a billion tests a month. I don't see that urgency. And I don't see the urgency in bringing antivirals to the marketplace. And we need to really accelerate right. that sense of urgency. All right, Dr. Redfield. We should not be pretending, am I correct, that Omicron's as lethal as the original pandemic or the Delta variant? Should we be looking at what we know right now and react accordingly? Low-grade fever, runny nose, no deaths. Yeah, Brian, I think you're, you're right that uh, you know, when these viruses evolve, and I think you know, I predicted it on Fox News probably four or five months ago, I said we're going to have another variant that's going to be more transmissible than Delta. Uh, and I anticipate it will become less pathogenic. That's what these viruses are going to do. We're going to have another virus after uh, uh, Omicron, and it's going to be more transmissible than Omicron, and hopefully it will become even less pathogenic than Omicron. This virus is different from the original strains in that it replicates more in the upper respiratory tract, uh, you know, as opposed to the lower lungs, and so it's causing much less disease. That said, in vulnerable individuals, you know, it still has the capability sure. of putting people in the hospital and still has the capability of death. But uh, the real issue with this pathogen is that it's just so much more infection, so much more infectious. Right. Uh, but we should treat it uh, accordingly and not overreact to it. And you would like to see more tests and you would I like agree. to see more uh, therapeutics or antiviral. Uh, let's get some urgency there. And you're a pro. Uh, Dr. Robert Redfield, thanks so much. Yeah, thanks, Brian. And All right. Have a great Christmas. Uh, you, you too, sir. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.